Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for Virgo. We're going to see what's the energy that's surrounding your love life, Virgo. I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your subscribes. They're all so, so greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what you need, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? Uh, so that's, the, that's where I answer questions as well. Thank you. I do want to send a special shout out to all my members. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel. For all my subscribers, guys, thank you. Thank you for joining me. And for all my new subscribers, guys, welcome. Welcome. I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Show me, Spirit. What's the energy surrounding my Virgo's love life? say yes to your open door a new opportunity your one 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 year old self oh i like this for you guys the energy surrounding your love life bottom of the deck it says you cannot pour from an empty cup I feel like this is about healing surrounding your heart itself. You can't love someone. What I'm getting in this energy is your spirit guides are saying that how are you to love someone if for some of you guys, if you can't love yourself, for some of you guys, it, it's time for you to work on healing. It's time for you to work on bettering yourself. Your spirit guides are clearly saying you cannot pour from an empty cup. And you see this heart here, you're trying to feel everybody else's cup with with very little for yourself you're leaving yourself very little reserve first out we have say yes to your open door so for some of you guys in your love life there is opportunities there's a new beginning there's someone that desires you or that you desire this is giving me a new energy a new vibe that's what i'm getting it says say yes to your open door your open door your open opportunity for love okay because i do get for some of you guys with this you cannot pour from an empty cup you've kind of blocked love out of your life you've kind of closed up even if in your even if you're in a relationship it's like you're holding on to a negative vibe and then it says your one 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 year old self this is you versus your old self. This is you looking back at the life that you've led and you've lived until you were 111 years old. And think about the life that you're living. What are you loving? What are you enduring as I see 333 on the clock? I feel like your spirit guides are calling you to take, to not waste any time. That's what I'm getting from this. It's this is because time is forever moving forward i feel like your spirit guides are wanting you to not waste any time when it comes to matters of the heart that's what i'm getting in this energy because i feel like for some of you guys there are doors there's possibilities there's chances in love but you may be closing yourself off to it for some of you guys how can you expect someone to love you a certain type of way when you can't show your own self that love and respect for some of you guys, you need to work on your healing because there is you don't have anything to give. And for some of you guys, you're still a little bitter. You don't want to have anything to give because you're still holding on to past pain and past hurt. Yeah. Show me spirit. Show me what it is I need to see for my Virgos. What's the energy surrounding my Virgos in love? What's the energy? It's like 
Think of yourself at 111 years old. Who do you want to be with? Where do you see yourself? Do you see yourself alone? Do you see yourself with the person that you're with right now, present moment? What regrets do you have? Do you want to have regrets? I feel like that's where your spirit guides are, are leading you when it comes to matters of the heart, when it comes to the energy surrounding your love life. It's like not closing the door on opportunity. Time is of the essence. But I feel for a lot of you guys, your spirit guides want you to try and get back aligned with yourself, loving yourself, nurturing yourself, but trying to heal because you're holding on for some of you guys. You're holding on to pain that you, that your, your spirit guides are wanting you to feel, to embrace so you can move on and not miss these opportunities that are coming for you as we see 555 five, five on the clock. Look at that bottom of the deck, heart, love. For a lot of you guys, there is love. There is love within your life right now, present moment, but there is love to be had. For a lot of you guys, there is something, something or someone that's opening up your heart chakra. For some of you guys, if you're not in a relationship right now, there is love to be had. There is love that is coming. Then we have palm. It's a part of your destiny. It's a part of your destiny. There's someone in your energy or there's someone that's coming into your energy and this person is going to feel so, oh so familiar. This person's going to feel like home. This person's going to feel like your true destiny. It says coins, good luck. I feel like luck is on your side when it comes to matters of the heart, when it comes to love. It's giving me divine timing. It's giving me with this door that's been opening for you guys. It's like now is the time you've earned this good luck. This is a part of your destiny. You're moving accordingly. This is allowing your heart chakra to open up. This is allowing love in your life. This is allowing you to love. For some of you guys, it's for you to love again. Hmm. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos when it comes to love. When it comes to love spirit. Guys, y'all have love around you and you have love coming in. There's like more love to be had. I feel like I feel such a strong energy of you're going to be loved. You're going to be loved like you've never been loved before. Like I'm getting such a strong energy, like it's something that you deserve. I feel like this is like your spirit guides, your ancestors, your angels. It's like they're gifting you with such a profound love. That's what I'm getting in this energy. So profound. Show me spirit. Set healthy boundaries. So it's like setting your boundaries, setting your goals, moving accordingly. Yes, but making sure that you set healthy boundaries. I feel like for some of you guys, that's where a lot of the pain came from. You not setting healthy boundaries when it came to matters of the heart. You letting people invade those boundaries. You can love someone. Some, sometimes I'm hearing you can love someone from a distance as well. But you definitely need to set healthy boundaries. If you're in a love relationship right now, your spirit guides are telling you there's a need for you to set healthy boundaries. That's to make yourself happy. That's to make yourself happy. And for some of you guys, if you're not in something, your spirit guides are wanting you to make sure right out the bat, right out the bat, set healthy boundaries. Show me spirit. A rebirth is assured. Trust in the magic. Look at this. It says a rebirth is assured. There is new love coming in. There's someone that's going to come in. I'm getting a strong energy of someone coming in bad spirit. Someone coming in to heal some of you guys broken heart. Someone that's coming in that's going to, they're, they're going to love you profoundly. For some of you guys, this is the person that you may have just met. Because I'm getting such a strong energy that some of you guys, you're in something new 
And this is the person that's going to heal your broken heart. For some of you guys, if you are single, there is love. For some of you guys, there is love that's in your energy, but you're closed off to it. You're not willing to open that door. There's fear. And then we have white raven spirit, trust in the magic. I feel like for, there's a group of you guys, there's somebody in your energy and you feel the magic between you and this person, but you're fighting it. You're fighting it. Look at that bottom of the deck. Your spirit guides are saying, look at all that red. This is all your power. It says surrender now. Surrender control. Surrender. Because I feel like for some of you guys, you have such a deep desire to be in love, to be loved. You have such a deep desire. But for some of you guys, it's like you're fighting it. Not wanting to be vulnerable, not wanting to lose control in it. Because yes, this may have happened to you before where you've thought you can trust someone and it turned out you couldn't. But your spirit guides are saying that you're not alone on this journey. Your spirit guides are wanting you to say yes to your open door. Because for some of you guys, this is someone new that is begging you to open that door. For some of you guys, you have somebody that's in your energy and they're trying to love you. But you're being stubborn. It says your 111 year old self. When you stop and you think back, just think about yourself at 111 years old. Where do you want to be? What stories do you want to have told when it comes to matter of the heart? What type of family do you want to have? Do you want to have loved or have been loved? I feel like your spirit guides are calling you to take note of that, to think of that. Because for some of you guys, you may have shut that door and somebody's knocking. Hmm. But your spirit guides are saying to make sure, just to make sure for yourself to be comfortable, you have to set healthy boundaries. A rebirth is assured. That's a rebirth within yourself. That's you finding that passion for love again, that desire for passion. Some of you guys, you're hiding. Oof. You're hiding behind your work. You're hiding behind responsibilities and you're hiding behind your kids. Your spirit guides are saying for you to trust. Trust in the magic. Have faith. Have faith that everything happens in divine timing. Have faith that God's going to serve you with somebody that is deserving of your love. Hmm. It says portal doors are opening spirit is not playing with you guys look at that doors are opening say yes to your open door there's opportunity in love there is love that's around you the energy is so strong it says you decide there are rewards and it also says wild card. So for some of you guys, the person that's in your energy or the person that's coming in your energy, this person is like a wild card. This is somebody totally different from what you're used to. This person could be a little out there, a little out there, a little spunky. It's like giving me an energy of you never know what, what's going to happen next with this person. They're very spunky. That's the energy that I'm getting. They're different from your norm. But I feel like that's why your spirit guides are telling you to say yes to your open door. Don't trust in the magic. Because I feel like the person that's coming in for you or the person that's that you might have just met or the person that you're, that's going to love you profoundly, unconditionally is someone that is not your norm. It says doors are opening. This is for you to let, let them in. Somebody's knocking. The wind's about to blow and don't push that door closed. That's what I feel like your spirit guides are saying to you guys when it comes to matters of the heart, when it comes to love itself. It says jump in. Whew, spirit is so, so such a mess. <laughs> spirit is such a mess because look at that. It says jump in. Say yes to change. There's adventure to be had. Look at that. It's all about the energy. There is some profound energy coming in with this new person or with the person that you're going to love and that's going to love you. It says adventure. Say yes to change. 
Say yes to your open door. Your spirit guides wants you to stop closing yourself in. Stop closing yourself off to love, to the possibility of being loved. It says big picture thinking, inspired ideas, visionary. Somebody has locked eyes on you or vice versa. You could have locked eyes on someone as well. But I'm definitely getting an energy of somebody has already locked eyes on you, Virgo. And somebody knows what they want. And I see a lot of energy coming your way. A lot of profound, I don't know why I keep saying that. Some profound energy that's coming your way. Absolutely profound. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see for my Virgo surrounding their love life. What's coming towards my Virgos in love? We have the Eight of Wands. Okay, so this is about to happen. For some of you guys, you're going to meet somebody while traveling or somebody is traveling towards you. This is some fast communication. This is fast action. Like for a lot of you guys, this love is here or this love is like around the corner. With the Eight of Wands there, and then we have the Ace of Wands. Oof. This is life changing. This is a new beginning. This is a new passionate beginning. This is new flirtatious energy. This is dating. This is new chemistry. Hmm. Love that for you guys. Show me spirit. Show me what's coming for my Virgos in love. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So everything that just slid out, <laughs> we're going to leave that there. And let's see what all this is because apparently so. Seven of Wands, this is about being courageous, taking on challenges. This is about you being guarded. This is about you letting someone in. This is about you being guarded, but this is about you finding the courage to allow someone in. The person that's coming in, there's going to be challenges. There's never nothing that's going to say there won't be challenges. This is telling me there's going to be challenges, but Spirit had already said the person that's coming towards you is going to be different from your norm. That person's going to be spunky. That person's going to be very spunky. We have healing, temperance. I told you, this person's coming in to heal your heart. Whether this is somebody that you just met or somebody that's coming in, strong Sagittarius energy here. But this person is coming in in divine timing. This person is being gifted to you by your spirit guides. This person is coming in to heal your broken heart. We have the four of cups. This is because it's, it's all about you accepting. Don't miss this opportunity. See, the four of cups is about a possible missed opportunity. It's about something being gifted to you, but you're not sure that you want to commit to it. Because if I'm getting a strong energy that it won't be easy. It won't be easy for you to let someone in. It won't be easy for you to, to open up. Open up to the possibility that you are you can be loved. Or that there is love to be had. Hmm. Then we have the eight of pentacles. This is all about working together. Working hard. This is about success. Achievement. Like you and this person, you're going to, you align so well. This is giving me an energy of two people vibing, two people that are working, working hard here with the hermit, Virgo energy, spending a lot of alone time together. You and this person, this is Virgo energy. This could be with the star here. We have Aquarius, we have Sagittarius, and we also have Virgo energy. Like you and this person will spend a lot of quality time together, a lot of passionate time together. And with the star here, look at that. That's hope. That's healing. That's wish fulfillment. That is total satisfaction. That's good love. That's good love making. That's chemistry. That's some good energy, strong Aquarius energy. This is about healing. 
For a lot of you guys, this is about healing your broken heart. Yeah. For a lot of you guys, bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. That's Virgo energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. This is about stability, a solid foundation. This is a husband, a wife. This is somebody that's ready for the responsibilities of being in a relationship. We have the King of Wands, somebody that's very confident. This is somebody that is very confident. For some of you guys, this is somebody that you already know. Like for some of you guys, this is somebody that you already know. This person has been watching you here with this Page of Swords. It's like, I feel like this person's, it's almost like having a secret admirer. But then we have Strength Leo Energy. This person's been patient. For some of you guys, it's somebody that you're already talking to and this person has been patient with you. This person has been very patient with you. This person has shown you grace and compassion even on your bad days. Strong Leo energy. But this person as the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, this person knows what they want. I feel like for some of you guys, if this is somebody that you're with, this person has expressed that they know what they want and that is you. And for some of you guys, if this is not somebody that you're with and this is the person that's coming in for you, this person is going to be very direct. This person is going to be honest. This person is going to be a protector and a provider. This person is no BS, no BS. I feel like this is still all about you being open, receptive to it. With the hangman here, this is you going with the flow, surrendering your will, surrendering control, letting loose. That's the energy that I'm getting. Like you, you're needing to let loose. For some of you guys, this is with a king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, your divine counterpart. You and this person, y'all match each other's energy. For some of you guys, this is somebody that you already know. And for some of you guys, this is just somebody that feels like home. Mm-hmm. For some of you guys, it's just somebody that feels like home. But I feel like this is your spirit guides. Like you, it's all about you being receptive. It's all about you being open to receive what's being gifted to you. What's being given to you by this person. What's being offered. Yeah. All right, spirit. Show me what's the energy What's the energy surrounding my Virgo in love? For some of you guys, you're already in something where there's somebody that's trying to love you right. But you have to be open to receive it. You have to be open to receive it. For some of you guys, if you're single and you don't feel, you don't believe that you're going to find that love... There is some serious, profound love coming your way. I feel like your spirit guides are saying, look at that. <laughs> As I was about to say that your spirit guides are saying, your spirit guides are saying this could be the one you already met the romantic partner you seek. See that spirit is not playing with not, not a one of you guys. Even if this is somebody that you you could have met in a past life. Even if this is somebody that you you may have known a long, long time ago, and it's like a sense of reconciliation. I'm not talking about the person that hurt you, the person that caused the need for somebody to come in and, and, and heal this broken heart of yours. Because you're definitely getting somebody that's coming in, and this person is coming in direct. This person is coming in correct. This person is not coming in to play any games. I feel like for some of you guys, this is somebody that you just met. For some of you guys, this is somebody new that's coming in. And for some of you guys, this is a reconciliation, but this is a coming together with somebody that you knew a very much a long time ago. Your spirit guides are saying this could be the one. You already met the romantic partner you seek. I feel like this could be somebody that, that's right in your face. We have flirt at the bottom of the deck. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. I feel like for some of you guys, this is somebody that you may flirt with on the fly, like on the pass by. Like whatever energy you and this person give off to each other, it seems so innocent, but there is so much potential. There is so much potential for growth. Your spirit guides are saying, say yes. 
all your spirit guides are saying to you is say yes and to think about that 111 year old self what memories you want what life you want to be want to have had trust in the magic but remember your spirit guide says you cannot pour from an empty cup there's still work that needs to be done open your heart to love be receptive to love surrender control stop being stubborn all right my loves that is what i have for you guys i hope you have a wonderful wonderful evening bye virgos